What if you could click a tiny little button and all these AI soldiers will jump in straight to your site and optimize it in a way that will allow you to rank first? Well, thankfully I have just a solution. I will show you how this AI agent, where you connect your site to it, click a button and all these little AI agents, AI soldiers will come into your site, will jump your site and will automatically optimize it for you without you having to do a single thing. Sounds too good to be true? Well, it's not. It is leveraging AI technology, which by the way, if you're in 2025 and not leveraging AI, well, um, you're just gonna get left behind because I mean, all your competitors are using AI and with AI, AI isn't magic. AI just amplifies whatever it is that humans can do. So AI just does what the human can do just way faster. And so again, if you're not using it, you're gonna get left behind. So I'm gonna show you how this AI agent, if you plug it into your site, it will distribute all these AI agents onto your site, it will read, analyze your site and give you suggestions that actually have tangible impact on your rankings, okay? So let me just jump straight into my computer, let me just put on my fast classes again because this is gonna be very important. Yeah, let's just jump straight into my Miro board and I'll show you step by step how to do it. But first, please comment the word AI agent in the comments down below, that'll be amazing because this would help push this YouTube video to more people and the algorithm gods really like when people comment. So if you can comment the word AI agent, that'd be amazing. Without further ado, let me just jump straight into my computer so I can show you step-by-step step how to set up all these little AI soldiers to optimize your site with a click of a button. Let's go. All right, we're here, and the site I'm gonna be optimizing is my own, okay? So granted, again, I own this tool, full disclosure, uh, if you buy it, I make money. And the AI I'm gonna use to optimize my site is my own site's AI. Now, there's not any other tool out there that does this. That's why I'm using my, I'm using my tool, okay? Uh, if there were, I'd use any other tool, but there isn't, okay? So that's, of course, why I'm using it. Again, if you find some other tool that allows you to do this, that deploys all these agents onto your site and fixes stuff for you, I mean, by all means, use it, because uh, you know you know me, like, I'm a big proponent of using AI, and that if you're not using AI, you're just gonna get left behind. So use ChatGPT, use anything. I don't think ChatGPT actually allows you to do this, but either way, yeah. If you find some, some other tool that allows you to do this, well, go ahead. So. Let's start with the optimizer. So let's name this uh, Arvo, which is my site, Arvo, Arvo's brand site, okay? Website URL, it's my URL. Uh, English is the language. I mean, if you're optimizing an international site, you'd go for the actual language of the site. Uh, let's do 100 pages, why not? And I could uh, put in my sitemap URL right here. This just helps our uh, agents better crawl your site. Um, if you don't add it, we'll, we'll most likely in most sites like just get it, get it for you. Uh, but in some odd cases, we can just add it manual right here. And what this is doing right now, it's analyzing, it's gonna be analyzing 100 pages on my site, okay? It takes a bit of time because it's now deploying, right? The little soldiers, the little AI agents onto our site and they're reading every single page. They're reading again every single page, okay? And they're connecting in, in, their, in the AI's mind to some extent, the context of all these pages. So it reads the home page, right? Then reads the services pages or the feature page, then the contact page to understand what the context of the brand is. So it doesn't just read like pages separately, right? It reads the whole site as a whole to have as much context about the brand as it possibly can. And let me remove my glasses right here because this is dumb. Um, and so as you see here, it analyzed seven pages so far. Now. What is it doing? And by the way, we will soon be able to integrate with Ahrefs and a bunch more, more data, data sources, but as of now, you can't. Um, but what this is doing, right, it's analyzing pages based off of a few uh, parameters. First one is page titles, then meta descriptions, then canonical URLs, image alt text, internal links, which is insane, and schema, okay? And by the way, if you don't know what schema is, go watch this video right here, I'll get that in the description, okay? And what this is doing right here is, as you see, right, it gives us a table, Right, with our current, let's say for example, page style. Our current page style, if you don't know what a page style is, let's just go here, our vote, right? A page title is this right here. This is your page, your meta title or page title, okay? And this right here is your meta description, okay? This is very important because, and I talked about this before, right? You, you could be ranking, like, let me just give you an example right here, Dallas Plumber, right? I could be ranking like first, right? But it, I, could, I could be right here. But if you're right, right here, right, and your meta title is much more enticing, right, people will click this result more and eventually they'll swap, okay? And oftentimes, just a bit of attention right here, where, what I see local businesses do more and more now is add their phone number to the, uh, to the meta title. And so, yes, you might get less clicks, right, but you might get more calls. So even though you're ranking second, right, because your meta title is optimized, in this case for conversions, well, 
you might get more business into your more leads into your business. Okay, so this one I have to click to find out what the number is. This one I just have to just call up the number. Okay. Now one could argue that yeah, you put you this here, you get less clicks. Google thinks you are uh, people are not clicking your site enough, so then they're, they're gonna like rank you below. So if people just don't click you because they call your number, Google doesn't know. Okay. I always say that both your meta title and meta description, excuse me, need to be optimized for SEO, right? For SEO, so sprinkling your keywords, for example. The keyword here sprinkled, right? Keyword sprinkled, Dallas Plummer, Dallas Plummer, sprinkled all across the, the title and description, but also optimize for click through rate, CTR, okay? A proper title, proper description um, to get people enticed to click, okay? But going back here, and for example, let's look at, uh, let's look at one of the pages. Let's look at, for example, the AI SEO agent page, which funny enough is the exact page uh, for the feature that I'm showing you right now, which basically is just, I mean, we're, we're a software, so this is a page going over the feature. If you were an e-commerce store, this would be like a product page. If you're like a local business, would be like, this would be like a service page or a location page. In this case, just basically just show off what the feature is, like age one, a uh, little paragraph right here, call to action, a video going over what the feature is, what it does, etc. And here's how it works, by the way. It, just, it dynamically scans your site, so it sends all these agents onto your site with smart reasoning, analyzes and, get, and takes into account the whole context of the brand, and it actually the, can it deploy updates by clicking here to apply. What's gonna happen is that this is our current page title, okay? And the AI is suggesting we change it to this. Automate, instead of AI SEO agent, Arvo is saying, hey, automate your SEO, aid, SEO with Arvo's AI agent, and here's why. So it gives you a suggestion for the page title and explains to you why it's suggesting that suggestion. So in this case, this title is more action-oriented and includes a clear benefit, automate your SEO, which can attract clicks. Again, these meta titles and meta descriptions are not just about being SEO optimized. Yes, you need to sprinkle in your keywords on them because they're a ranking factor, but they, be, they need to be optimized for clicks, right? And the AI knows this, okay? It also incorporates the brand name, Arvo, for recognition while maintaining a focus on the primary service, enhancing relevancy for search queries related to SEO automation. So basically, all it's doing, it's saying, hey, listen, this is your current one right here. We think you should change to this one, and here's why. And if you hit apply, right, what's gonna happen is that the AI agents, these agents will go automatically onto that page and change the page title just like that, right? And you can discard, and based on what you apply and discard, the AI agents will learn for future recommendations. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Now again, granted, of course, you might not agree with all these, right? You might not agree with all these suggestions. Uh, some of them might not make any sense, which I mean, fair enough, that's why we tell you the why. If you agree with it, you apply and discard it. And by the way, we're an SEO tool, right? And even we make mistakes, look at this. For our agency page, right? SEO software for agencies, Arvo, Arvo. So this is, this is dumb. You should only have one, right? So I can easily fix this by just clicking here, apply. And the agent will go onto the, uh, the page title and change it automatically for me, okay? Same thing for meta descriptions, right? It's gonna analyze all the pages and giving you suggestions and giving you the reason as to why it's telling you to change things. And again, we don't, you don't need to copy this and go to your site. No, just, you don't even need to log into your CMS, just hit apply. And by the way, we integrate with like all these, like WordPress, Shopify, I mean, doesn't matter, like any of these ones, if you're any of these, if you're on any of these CMSs, we integrate with it, so don't worry too much about it. Webflow, Shopify, Blogger, WordPress, all these ones. Um, then we have Canonical URL, it's a bit more advanced, it's pretty cool. Uh, image alt text, I mean, I, I, feel, I said, said this before, right? We, <laughs> I'm sure that if you try this right now, you'll have a bunch of images with alt text, even as we have them when we shouldn't. Uh, internal links, this is pretty cool. I think it's one of the most valuable features here uh, because, I mean, you have a site with, with a bunch of pages, right? A bunch of pages, an old site, an age site, right? Your home page, right? Blog post, page one, blog post two, a service page, a product page, a contact. I mean, there's so many pages on your site, right? And it's crucial for SEO to have a proper internal linking structure, right? Your home page needs to link to your service pages, right? Your contacts page may be linking to your product page. These blogs, if they're relevant, they might want to interlink between each other, maybe to the home page. So there needs to be a proper internal linking structure on your site. And for already established sites, it takes so much work to go and go through all the pages and find the relevancy links to link to these pages between each other. It takes so much work, right? With this, right, it just tells you which pages it thinks, right? For example, this right here, it's suggesting we link the uh, agency page, okay, to our customer love page, which is basically a page where you show like uh, testimonials, okay? So it's saying, hey, listen, link, create a link from the agency page with the anchor text client satisfaction to this page. And here's why, right? Connecting the client satisfaction to the customer love page, direct visitors, real testimonials, and case studies showcasing how agencies have achieved outstanding results with Arvo. Makes so much sense, right? And again, I've said this before, AI isn't magic. Arvo isn't a magic tool. Arvo does everything you could do as a human. 
but just imagine the amount of time it'd take you to do all this. First, you gotta find the pages that are relevant, right? First, you gotta locate, okay, I wanna link agency with this one. Then you gotta choose the anchor text. Then you gotta log in into your CMS, create the link, link to this page, right? It just takes so much work. If I just hit click here, apply, the agents will go to the page, will create the link, link it, and put it live, just like that. Again, saves you a ton of time. And so if you keep scrolling down, there's also schema, right? Right now we have FAQ schema and article schema. But soon we'll have review schema, aggregate rating, local business. We'll have a bunch more schemas. You can give it a go and try. But this basically finds the most relevant schema for the pages you're in. And if you apply, the schema code will automatically be applied to your site. Here's why schema is available, by the way. If you just scroll down here, I can show you. Right? This right here is schema. These little stars right here, these little star ratings, this is done with schema. Again, go, you can go watch this video right here. And I'll, I'll leave a link at the end. Don't worry about it. But this right here is done with schema. right? And it just adds a bunch more pixels, right? And it creates a unique result. So I'm much more enticed to click this one than this one because of the schema, right? All these things play, play a big role. The meta title, meta description, the schema markup, right? All this plays a big role. And this is what these AI agents help you do, okay? As of now, again, we do all of these ones. Soon we'll do like page speed with a bunch more stuff. And soon we'll integrate with all these data sources to have um, better data and better recommendations. And soon enough, recommendations based on what your competitors are doing. Okay, as of now, it's just recommendations based on the context we have about your brand, right? But soon we'll have context and give you recommendations based on the, what the competition is doing. If you see, for example, hey, listen, all your top 10 competitors, all of them have this word in their meta title. So then we recommend you do that. Or all of them have this schema code on XYZ pages. So if we see you have those same pages, we recommend we, we add, you add, excuse me, that same schema code to those pages. That's in the works. As of now, we have this, which still is amazing. So if you want to give it a go, just go to arvo.com. Click set optimizers, create optimizer, and then just add your. I think this is free, by the way. I think you get like a free analysis for a couple of pages. So give it a go, try it out. If it's not free, just go here to help and support. Click uh, contact support and say, hey, listen, guys, I came from this year right here. Give me a coupon code, and then the guys will hook you up with a coupon code. So don't worry too much about it. So yeah, that's it. That's how these AI agents can help you. Uh, um, just honestly optimizing your technical SEO with the click of a button. It's pretty cool. So give it a go. I'll leave a link down below for this. And if you want to learn a bit more about schema, which I've talked about a bit here, go watch this video right here because it teaches you step by step how to create the code, where and how to put it in what pages and all the types of schema that exist to generate either stars, images and a bunch of more cool stuff. So click here to watch it and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.